Hey yo man, where'd you get that baseball tee? I made it man! What? Hey what's going on guys, Ken Andrew Daily here with a t-shirt to custom baseball tee tutorial. As you can see in the background, I got the customized baseball tee right here. Look at that, boom. I really recommend getting an extra shirt or a test shirt to work out on first before you uh, mess up some shirts you really like. And also to actually get a baseball tee, like a legitimate baseball tee, it's gonna help you create a template for any future for any future uh, t-shirts that you want to customize. So I really recommend that, but you don't necessarily need it as well. Putting all that aside, let's just get straight to the tutorial. For the materials, you need a t-shirt. It doesn't matter what type. A yard of fabric, just enough to cut out sleeves. Some pins, as always. Thread cutter. Yeah, a pair of scissors, a sleep template, and a ruler. And that's all the things you're going to need today. So the first thing you want to do is you want to grab your thread cutter or anything that cuts thread and turn your shirt inside out. We're going to be cutting off the elastic, well not cutting off, we're going to be removing the elastic strip on the neckline of your t-shirt the way you do that you just pick at the thread all the way around just take your time on this and don't accidentally poke your make holes in your t-shirt this is very important because later we'll be needing it to complete the customized baseball tee later so make sure just to take your time don't poke holes don't poke really big holes and once you get to the very end or reach the end of the thread you should be able to almost pull it off kind of like taking the brim off the crown of a snapback it just takes a couple pulls in there and I'm almost there as you can see and I pull it off and this is what it should look like when you got it all pulled off and then this is what the t-shirt should look like after you pull the elastic strip off for a next step you want to make a mirror effect by folding your t-shirt in half this is gonna just make the t-shirt symmetrical this makes cutting a lot easier so you don't have to cut both sides and checking if both sides are symmetrical and then after you've folded it in a nice mirrored effect, what you want to do is grab your pair of scissors and cut a diagonal line towards the neckline. Keep in mind that you want to leave about a half an inch away from the neckline, or not even half an inch, probably like a couple centimeters because you want the neckline to be so close to the sleeve that when you attach the elastic strip later, it will actually cover part of the sleeve, the baseball sleeve that you attach, you sew on later. So just keep that in mind. Again, it won't be perfect the first time around. So just kind of practice around with your first test shirt, see what works, see what doesn't work, because making it look perfect actually takes some time and practice, trial and error as always, guys. Like this baseball tee, it took me hours, it actually took me a couple of days to actually finish because I wanted to make it look somewhat perfect. When you're doing these type of projects, you actually want to do it a couple of times, take your time and practice a lot because I didn't get it perfect on the first time around and I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't either. So just take a lot of time out just to practice. But when you're done, your t-shirt should look something like this when it's cut. Notice I'm showing you guys the top part of the t-shirt. This, this is just giving you, you guys an idea of how slim you want the cut to the neckline to be. And here is the overall look of what the diagonal cuts look like. And I'm going to be coloring it out for you guys if you still don't understand because I know before I used a black t-shirt and it wasn't good. So here is a overall outline of where you should have cut and then the general shape of the baseball tee. And afterwards you want to go grab something to measure out the sleeves with. And you want to take the measurement of one side 
times that by two and add two inches and you want to do that on the other side as well this just gives you enough sleeve to work with so you don't end up coming in too short and cutting out more fabric that you don't need to the next part is totally optional you don't have to do this you can just eyeball the length of the baseball sleeve and if you want to do this you actually just roll your sleeve up a couple of times and just get the measurement of the length of the top part and the bottom part as well so the next thing you want to do is take your yard of fabric and fold it in half this is just going to give enough room for the sleeves so I'm just cutting across just cutting all the excess fabric that I don't need and then I'm going to cut it in half so I have enough fabric for the left sleeve and the right sleeve I don't know why I didn't speed up this clip maybe for all you guys who are confused right now I'll give you some time to figure it out trust me when I, when I was watching this clip I was like wait why didn't I anyways what you want to do after you cut both halves is just open it up and make sure that it's enough room to make sleeves next thing you want to do is cut out the fabric for the sleeve and I'm going to be using a sleeve template which I got off the sweater that you saw earlier which you can actually take that off of that's what I did so find a sweater that fits you well cut it roll up the sleeves a little bit and just copy the template from that and this is the general shape of the template right there and what it looks like on a baseball tee and then after you just want to cut the fabric nice and around don't cut see in the bottom right of the corner of the screen there's like a little chip on the bottom of the template there that was not meant to be there I accidentally cut the, the corner off there so don't cut it like the bottom right of the template actually leave it like a nice triangle at the end there I didn't realize that when I was recording so disregard that guys don't don't do that don't do that the next part is totally optional you don't have to do this but I'm just checking if the sleeves is a good length and it looks good with the t-shirt that's all I'm doing here so you're gonna skip ahead if you want to so for the next step we'll be prepping these sleeves to get them sewn together and the way that we do that is we make it inside out again make it nice and flat making making sure everything is nice and symmetrical and after you want to just pin the top and the bottom of the sleeve and the way that you pin it, um, sleeves or fabric together is take the pin insert it through the bottom uh, I mean the top you insert it from the top and then you return it through the top and you want to do that for the bottom of the sleeve as well so the first part is through the diagonal line there and then afterwards on the bottom but this is what both sleeves should look like after they are done the next step is to sew down the pinned areas that we pinned in the previous clip and the way that you sew these together you start with a straight stitch all the way down and then afterwards follow up with a strong zigzag stitch this is going to ensure that these sleeves are nice and strong so when you throw it into the washer or wear it out it doesn't flake on you and you have a big hole in your sleeve and that's something you don't want so right there i just finished the top part of the sleeve getting it ready to do the bottom part of the sleeve right after so I will insert the bottom which is right there there we go and if you guys are new to sewing I really recommend taking your time on this because it's not the easiest thing to do but it's really good practice if you're a beginner because it only deals with your basic stitches like the straight stitch and the zigzag stitch after you're done with the top and the bottom of the sleeve always end with a back stitch and then as I mentioned earlier you want to do a zigzag stitch on the top and the bottom but I didn't put that clip in here because it would just be too much sewing clips that I don't want to bore you guys with so I decided not to put it in but after you're done with the zigzag stitch you can actually 
Put it right side up and pull on the sewn areas and it would stay in place. And it looks like it was never sewn in the first place. The next step is pretty optional. You don't really have to do this. It just makes the next step a little bit easier, not, not too crazy. But it's just nice to iron down your finished project, make sure everything is nice and symmetrical and all that stuff. Next thing you want to do is take your sleeves and pin it to your t-shirt. And the way you want to do that is you want to insert the sleeve like this. You have to insert it like this or else you could end up with an inside out sleeve. And keep in mind that the t-shirt is still inside out. This is not right side up. And then afterwards you want to align the top of the sleeve to the middle of the neckline on the right side. If that doesn't make sense, you kind of just pin the upmost part of the sleeve to the upmost part of the neckline area. But basically you just want to pin around. This helps you know if you have excess fabric or excess sleeve. So you can make some modifications if there is extra. But if you have less, what you can do is actually cut part of the sleeve of the t-shirt off to make it work. After you got both sleeves pinned onto your t-shirt, throw it into your sewing machine and start by doing a nice straight stitch along the sleeve area that you attach the pins to. And then afterwards, you want to follow up with a zigzag stitch. This is just going to ensure a nice strong bond with the t-shirt to the sleeve. And so later you don't have to worry about it, your sleeve making holes because of crazy events that you go to or throwing it into the washer machine. Never forget to do the back stitch. The back stitch is so important. You don't understand how important the back stitch is. So don't forget to back stitch. Yeah, back stitch. Yeah. After you sew in both sleeves, she looks something like this. And now we're going to be sewing back the elastic strip that we took off earlier. And the way that you reattach it is you open it up, which I'll show you real quick. There we go, there's a little opening, and in that opening you want to insert your t-shirt into, and then close it down. Make sure the t-shirt's all the way to the middle of the elastic strip, and then you want to pin it down all the way. There we go, keep it in place. Now you just want to repeat this process all the way around the neckline. Next you want to throw it into the sewing machine, do your standard straight stitch and follow up with a zigzag stitch like how you did the sleeves. And pretty much this is the last step of the tutorial and you'll have your new customized baseball tee. So just check around the neckline, make sure everything nice and tight. Throw it to the washer and dryer and it should look something roughly like this. I folded up my sleeves because it was just too long when I made it, but it looks pretty dope. And yeah, so that's the tutorial guys. I hope you guys like it. Subscribe and if you have any comments, let me know in the comment section below. But this is Ken Andrew Daily and I'll see you guys soon.